Hello everybody and welcome to Tech Lore. You may have watched my recent video explaining whether or not you need an antivirus. If not, make sure to watch that by clicking the card in the top right or visiting the link in the description. To quickly summarize, I recommended using Windows Defender for more experienced users as your main antivirus solution. One of the viewers left a comment saying that he uses no antivirus and scans each file he downloads using VirusTotal, an online scanning service. Now this got me thinking, how much of a performance difference does this guy get from not using an antivirus? Well, I did all the testing for you. On the hardware side of things, I did all of my testing on my main editing rig with an i7-6700K, 32GB of DDR4 RAM, a GTX 1060 6GB graphics card, a 500GB Samsung 850 EVO as my main boot drive, and a 7200 RPM WD Blue 1TB hard drive as my secondary storage drive. It is important to note that this is a very high-end machine, so disabling your antivirus might make a smaller difference than if you do it on a weaker computer. Moving to software, I ran the latest version of Windows 10 with Windows Defender definitions fully up to date, all drivers were updated, and all software I used for benchmarks were fully up to date with the exception of Adobe Premiere and Media Encoder, which I used CC 2017, since 2018 is a buggy nightmare for me. In order to fully evaluate computer performance, I ran numerous tests to find out what Windows Defender does and doesn't affect. I am now going to shut up and go right into the results. Let's start with the two synthetic benchmarks. 3 d Mark saw less than a 1% performance increase after disabling Windows Defender, not the best news for you gamers. However, PC Mark, which is a very general all-around performance benchmark, saw over a 9% performance increase, which is definitely an improvement. The question is, does this carry over to actual usage on your computer? Well, let's find out. Booting up Windows took about 3% less time, which is close to nothing. Launching Adobe Premiere was about 11% quicker, which saved me on average a little over one second every time I launched the program. Launching Photoshop was about 10% faster, similar story to Premiere. And installing GIMP was about 16% faster, which is a considerable improvement. So percentage-wise, yes, it does seem like Windows Defender makes a minor difference, but if you look at the raw data, the biggest improvement I saw was a two-second improvement installing GIMP. Not really worth it in my eyes. Now let's go into file management. First, I archived an 18GB folder filled with documents, music, and videos using 7-zip and saw less than a 1% performance increase, so nothing here. I then tried unarchiving the same folder, and there was a little over a 3% performance increase, still not much. Now, for file transfers, I copied the same 18GB folder from my secondary hard drive to my main SSD. This was absolutely astonishing. It was 3.2 times quicker to transfer the folder after disabling Windows Defender, saving almost five and a half minutes in the transfer process. This was just crazy! However, transferring the same folder from my main boot drive to my secondary hard drive saw almost no difference. Actually, it took a little bit longer, but it's still in the margin of error. So some interesting things to discuss about the file management tests. Clearly, there was a huge difference transferring from a secondary hard drive to the main host SSD, which is definitely the biggest thing that I've seen so far in the testing, which is something really important to point out. However, it's also important to note that transferring the opposite direction from your main OS to a secondary hard drive saw almost no difference. It seems that Windows Defender only scans incoming files to your main operating system, but not outgoing files to other devices, which can definitely be a security concern depending on what you're doing. The last set of tests were the rendering and encoding tests. I don't want to drag this out too much, so I'm just going to rip through this section. I encoded a video file in 1080p and in 4K using Adobe Media Encoder and saw a negligible difference on both tests. I then rendered out a video in 4K and in 1080p inside of Adobe Premiere and also had little to no difference. To summarize everything, at the end of the day, I didn't see any significant improvement in GPU related tasks, so sorry gamers. I also didn't see any improvement in encoding and rendering files, so sorry content creators, but there was a small improvement in launching programs 
installing programs, and a pretty big improvement in transferring files, specifically from a secondary hard drive to your main operating system. So what are my thoughts? Well, in my last video, I said I'm not gonna recommend disabling your antivirus for any reason, and I tried to justify it by giving you guys a performance increase. Unfortunately, there is not enough of a performance increase for me to recommend disabling your antivirus in order to fully maximize your performance on your baby. The only person, and I mean the only person I might recommend disabling Windows Defender for is if for some reason you're transferring like terabytes of data every single day from a secondary hard drive to a main operating system. Uh, I can't think of a reason or a person who would do that consistently, but I'm sure someone will find that information valuable. That is going to wrap it up everybody. Make sure you keep your antiviruses installed and up to date, and that is all I have to say. If you wanna keep up with our awesome community, make sure to follow TechLore on Instagram and join our TechLore Discord server if you wanna be a part of our conversations. Thank you so much for watching and have a lemuricious day. However, transferring the same folder from my main boot drive to my secondary hard drive saw...